My name is Liz LaFleur, and my Nasher public exhibition is titled The Queer Birth Project. The Queer Birth Project is a five-year project with the goal of documenting and sharing the childbirth experiences of queer people in America, including LGBTQ++ folks. The structure of this project is based on a re-envisioning of The Birth Project by feminist artist Judy Chicago. This work directly recognizes the significance of visibility and seeks to promote an intersectional and radically inclusive view relating to childbirth in America. The exhibition consists of three works. Birth Fringe Yellow 2022 consists of rows of cascading yellow fringe that take up the majority of the gallery. In my practice, fringe stands in as a queered, non-curtain soft architecture that I utilize as both a philosophy and a time-based practice. As a philosophy, fringe transforms. It takes up physical space, it sparks joy, and it asks people to slow down. The two neon works included in this exhibition are titled Growing Bodies and It is Strange to Take Up So Much Space. Growing Bodies documents the chronology of my partner's body through her pregnancy. The outlines, originally recorded using a Sharpie marker in my studio, are illuminated through a series of rainbow-colored neon lines. My partner, a masculine-centered queer person, never planned to carry our child. However, after three years of my own infertility, she decided to try and it worked. This piece is personal to me, and while it documents our own transition into parenthood, it also recalls the flexibility and multiple ways that queer families can be formed. The second neon piece, It Is Strange to Take Up So Much Space, is a handwritten excerpt collected from one survey response to the question, quote, how do you feel about the size and changing shape of your body during pregnancy? Their answer prompts us to think about both the physical and physiological changes that occur with pregnancy. As queer parents, we move through spaces that are not designed for us. We develop new relationships to family, and we fight for a sense of freedom and inclusion. I really love this phrase as a proposition that asks us to question space both inside and outside of the body. The final piece is a soundscape that fills the gallery with stories of queer birth. Using direct quotes from two questions in our ongoing research relating to the body and dysphoria, I have woven together multiple narratives into a 40-minute libretto for the voice. Singing these reflections on changing bodies and identities is meant to elicit a sense of joy, recognizing, celebrating, and creating a new space for community.